In this screencast, I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks for searching on Kentucky Virtual Library. So what you'll do is you'll first open up your internet browser and you're going to go to www.kyvl.org and then you're going to hover over where it says students and click on elementary school. And this is going to bring you into the research frontier. Um, here you can click on the research rocket, which just kind of gives you some basic information about how to do research, or you can jump right into your research by clicking here on these planets. So I'm going to click on the planets, and then be brought to the different options that I can use to search for information. Um, the purple planet here is Searchosaurus, and that's where you can find information from magazines, newspapers, the encyclopedia, um, and then information from animals and almanacs. Um, another really good place to start is EBSCO, that's the red planet, and that's where you can find more information from magazines and um, encyclopedias and books and things like that. And we also have Grohl Your Encyclopedias, which has um, entries about people, places, and events. So we're going to start with the purple planet, and you'll want when you're researching to try all three planets. Um, and I'm going to click on the purple planet, and that's going to open up Search Asaurus for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type my search terms into the find box. Now your search terms are probably going to be a phrase or it's going to be some specific terms that you include in AND. So for example, if I was researching 3D printing, I would type in 3D printing. And I want to be specific about what kind of 3D printing I'm looking for, so I might be putting 3D printing and schools. And then I'm going to press enter or search and here I only have one result that came back so I have um, this one that says printing in 3d and you'll see that it is offering me to look at the HTML or PDF if I just click on the title here um, this is a quick way for me to see if this is going to be a good um, article for me to look at because all of my search terms are in bold so if I scroll down I can see quickly if this is going to be something that is going to be worth my time to read. And this one does look like it would be helpful because there's a lot of times where they mention 3D and um, they do mention school in here. Okay, so that's how we use Search Asaurus. Now if I want to go back and use one of the other um, sites, I'm just going to use the back button to get back to the research frontier. And here I'm going to click on the red planet that's EBSCO kids search and this is going to be pretty much the same way that I searched the other one um, it looks pretty similar so I might type in 3d printing and schools and then I might press go or just pre press enter and this one is re returning 36 different results now on a lot of these databases you can switch back and forth between magazines newspapers books or all results. So if I just wanted to look for a magazine article about printing, I would press the magazine here and it filters out all of the magazines so that I'll see, oh, there are three different articles on printing in 3D. Um, and I'm not sure if these are going to be very good choices for me because there is no description like what you would get on Google. So I do actually have to click on the um, on the article title and look at it and you'll see that it also highlights my search terms in this one and it only has three dimensional there's nothing here about school so this probably isn't one that I really want to spend a whole lot of time with so it really does um, help if you preview these articles and look for your search terms in the bold now my final um, search place is going to be all the way back I have to go back one more to um, Grolier. So if I click on Grolier and um, I type in my search terms again, 3D printing and school, three D printing and school. Um, we'll see what this one brings up. And sometimes you're going to see that uh, the results come up the same and sometimes they don't. Now this one 
this one doesn't really look like it has too too much this looks like it's more about printing um, if I'm scrolling through and just previewing the titles I could at the top of the page switch to news stories here and this is just stuff about school or fast facts if there's anything under fast facts this is mostly about printing um, we'll see if there's any magazine articles um, and here's that one article that I had looked at before and there's another one that says dream it print it from science world that might be a promising one um, and this site does give a little description of what um, the article is about so this says the article discusses the use of three-dimensional printing and making things so this is probably something that I would want to invest some time in and the last to our websites and media. If I click on websites, this is going to give me some approved websites that would be good um, to look at. And this, these websites don't look like they have much to do with 3D printing already. Um, although this is virtual museum printing, that might. So I might spend some time looking on that. Um, but this, this one is a very good one for um, finding information and reading little abstracts that tell us if it's going to be worth our time. Alright, so um, those are just some basic tips and tricks for using Kentucky Virtual Library.